Hello everyone, welcome to SFI's Long Range Tips. Today we're going to talk about the tall target test, what that consists of. I'm going to go ahead and do one today so we can show that to you and let's get to it. So this is the tall target target. Uh, so you see down here we have three points so that we can check our zero and make sure we're hitting on. And then you're gonna dial up 30 MOA and see where you hit, all right? We're gonna put this on the target down range, make sure we're using a level to make sure that the target is absolutely level. And then we're gonna measure back, make sure that we know the distance to the target. So we use the level to make sure that the target is exactly level, perpendicular to the ground. You can't use the targets because sometimes those are crooked. So when you use this, you use the bubble level, you make sure that it's all correct. Now we'll measure from here back to the table and make sure we have the exact distance. So we've taken our three or four shots to confirm our zero. Now we are going to dial up 30 on the elevation knob and take another shot. Okay, so we've taken the shot after we've dialed up, and now you see me going downrange to retrieve the target. It was a very, very rainy uh, morning. It had rained all night, and the range was an absolute mess. Um, so that's why you see me high stepping. There was another gentleman down range with me and we were laughing about which uh, trail we would take to make it back and keep our feet dry. So now you see me back at the table measuring um, from the bottom of the target where we zeroed in and getting a measurement up to the top where we dialed up the 30 MOA. And there's the formula on my phone. So we have a measured distance of 100 yards times uh, the distance we dialed up, which was 30 MOA, times the constant, which is 0 0.01047 equal 31.41. Um, and now, So now we're going to take that expected POI divided by the measured POI, which equals our correction factor. So that's going to be the 31.41 divided by 31.74 gives us 0 0.989, um, which is almost perfect. When we are putting that into our ballistic calculator, um, the uh, default is one. So 0 0.9 is uh, as good as you can get it and I probably would just go ahead and leave it at one. So there you have it. Uh, we take for, if you want to see that formula, I'll post it up for you. Um, but that is a tall target test, which is intricate um, and 
using ballistic calculators to get first round hits on long range targets. Uh, you have to ensure that your elevation knob is dialed in and the ballistic calculator knows uh, what the correction factor is or knows what that dial is actually dialing in for. And once you have that, uh, you put your fundamentals together and you can read the wind, um, you 90% of the time can make a first round hit. So as always, um, thank you for watching. Um, please uh, subscribe, double click the bell so you get all of our content. Please leave a comment, give us a, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on SFI's Long Range Tips.